Hi friends, my name is Trish Roberts. You're watching Faint Signals from Vega. So, um, so I'm still waiting for my Facebook account, um, my personal account and my two uh, anti-war, anti-imperialist pages to be reinstated. But um, I'm not holding my breath about my pages. Um, but anyway, uh, I just wanted to talk today about... Um, I was watching this uh, video about the 22-day nutrition challenge um, which um, Beyonce, the celebrity Beyonce and her partner Jay-Z were, um, that's what got them onto a plant-based diet. And I think they wrote the forward to this book Green Print or something. Um, and so I watched this video because I wanted to see exactly what they might say. And um, so Beyonce was talking about how wonderful a plant-based diet is. Unfortunately, they refer to it as veganism. And then right at the end, after she just goes on about how wonderful it is, she says, I still eat meat <laughs> um, because it's all about moderation. And um, and you see, this is the problem. I've, I've talked about this before um, when I talked about Miley Cyrus and her um, partner, her partner Liam Helsman, um, and they had they served up fried chicken at their uh, wedding reception. Um, but people refer to her as vegan, and she refers to herself as vegan and her husband. If you're uh, serving people up animal products, that doesn't make you vegan. If you're eating a little bit of meat or whatever every so often, that doesn't make you vegan. If you're eating a little bit of fish <coughs> every so often, that doesn't make you vegan. And um, I wish people would stop using the term vegan and veganism um, in relation to plant-based dieting, because that's what they're doing, plant-based dieting for health reasons. And that's the problem when you don't, uh, you haven't internalized the ethical position of veganism, which is what veganism is. It's what it was meant to be when it, the, the term was coined in 1944 by Donald Watson. It was an ethical position which reject using, rejected using animals. And it wasn't about, you know, eating a little bit of this and a little bit of that and cutting back. It was just about rejecting the use of animals. And unfortunately, that term has been co-opted by people who really don't know what veganism means and who are really plant-based dieters for health. And, um, and uh, they confuse the public. I mean, why, why talk about the wonderful benefits of a plant-based diet as she was doing and then feel the need to throw in, but I eat meat every uh, occasionally. It's all about moderation, she said. See, if she, was a, if she was a vegan, that wouldn't even enter her head to ever eat, you know, what is, what is essentially the decomposing flesh of a once sentient being. She would not think about that. She wouldn't have uh, dairy either occasionally. I don't know if she does, but this is the problem when people become, when they call themselves vegan in quotes, but really they're just plant-based dieters who occasionally indulge, you know, what they consider indulging themselves in um, products of violence, animal products of violence, um, which is what all these products are, terrible violence. And these products are also responsible for most of the destruction of the environment. And arguably the greatest driver of the climate chaos. So even if everybody's just eating a little bit of this and a little bit of that, uh, if everybody's doing that, it's still causing tremendous uh, violence to the planet and to other sentient beings. You know, seven billion people are eating a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I, I just, when she said that, I mean, it wasn't, in one way it was, wasn't surprising, but in another way, it was because it's almost like somebody said, when I hear that sort of thing, it's almost like um, someone saying, well, you know, I, I eat this incredibly healthy diet, but then, uh, 
occasionally I have a little bit of um, strychnine, you know, or, or a little bit of cyanide on the side. That, that's how bizarre it is to me, or, or really, in some ways, I sort of think, well, I'd be really surprised if she ever internalized the ethical position. So I expect that they're only going to talk about a plant-based diet and, and not even mention animals, which is the case. I think it's amazing that people manage to, uh, they call themselves vegan and yet never even mention animals. And, and the reason they don't is because um, animals really don't factor into it much, really. It's really about uh, their health. And yes, veganism, the ancillary benefits of veganism is health and the environment, but that's not veganism. The, and of course, you know, and there's an ethical reason to stop destroying the planet because 99.99% of the um, population of the planet are non-human animals, but also there are uh, climate refugees that are going to be in dire straits when land masses go underwater or when droughts, and we're all going to be affected by this, droughts and rains and um, when food becomes scarce, which is on the horizon. And there's, you know, all the other things destroying the oceans and all of that, that when we're eating animal products, that's what we're doing. So that is an ethical position too, but the real ethical position is that we, we need to recognize sentient animals as moral persons. You know, that just means, a person just means not a thing. You know, we need to recognize these sentient beings as moral persons that belong to the moral community and they aren't here f for us to use as resources. It's really that simple. And it's not, it's not uh, rocket science to work out that these animals are sentient and that they love life just like we do and they don't want to die. You know, uh, when I hear people like Beyonce, and I've, I just, I've known for a very long time that celebrity vegans, in quotes, um, are really just plant-based dieters um, who really don't have, a, a, haven't integrated and internalized the ethical position. And um, they end up confusing everybody because it's not a really, it's not about quote unquote moderation. You can't be moderate about violence. You can, I guess, and, but that's morally confused. I mean, you know, if you want to occasionally participate in violence, then don't, don't refer to, um, what you're doing is, is um, an ethical thing, which is when you use the word vegan, that's what um, you're saying. You know, veganism is an ethical position. So you can't be a little bit of this or a little bit like if you reject racism, it, you know, being racist two days a week and, and the other five, you're sort of anti-racist. That just doesn't work. The same with, you know, homophobia and het heterosexism. You can't be a little bit homophobic for a couple of days and then be uh, against homophobia and heterosexism the rest of the time. It's, that's not an ethical position. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so anyway, that's really all I wanted to say. I just thought, oh no, here's another one. Um, I thought she had more of a clue than that, but then I knew really, I, I just know that there, there is no celebrity uh, who calls themselves vegan that I know of who actually is vegan. I just wish they'd stop doing it because it is no, of no benefit to people to receive that sort of morally confused message. And it really kind of confuses further what the mainstream media and animal, large animal organizations have been doing for a long time, which is making it sort of one of these things that's optional or something that might be too hard and all this kind of thing for people, um, which is nonsense. It's not too hard and it's getting easier all the time. It's quite, quite easy. And it's not expensive because we don't need to buy pre-made um, pre vegan products. We don't need to do that at all. Poorer countries have been on a plant-based diet for a long time. That's because it's, it's fairly cheap and it's easy to, uh, to do. But anyway, uh, this is how it is today, just the confusion, and it's all about us. How, do, how, how we always manage to make something that's actually about another group all about us, like making veganism all about us once again. That's what got us in this mess in the first place, speciesism. Anyway, so um, that's all I wanted to say. So when you see somebody who calls themselves vegan who's a celebrity, just take it with a grain of salt because it's 
not really veganism. It's just plant-based dieting for health. Anyway, um, to find out what veganism really is, you can check out my vegan resource, howtogovegan.org. Um, and uh, it's a comprehensive vegan resource in podcast form, so please check it out. And um, there's different resources on there as well. So thanks so much for watching. My name is Trish Roberts. You're watching Faint Signals from Vega. Till next time. Bye for now.